are, are all uh, former USSR women this tall? Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. This is our specific way. That's why it's like one of those airbags. Are like, yeah, yeah. My hair is burnt. Georgia. No, not where Bieber gets his peaches, but the country on the border of Eastern Europe and Western Asia. It's said to be the originator of wine and has some of the most delicious food you may have never had. Cheese boats with egg yolk, vegetable pate, gigantic soup kinkali dumplings. From the traditional and Brighton Beach Brooklyn to modern versions in Flatiron Manhattan, our friend Nina, who grew up in Georgia, is going to school us on some of that culture that you might have not known about. So we're about to go deep. Hit that like button and let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Fun Bros Food. You know on this show, sometimes we travel close places, far places, but we want to show you guys a new culture, a new way of thinking, a new perspective. But today we're out here out in Brighton Beach, which is home to a lot of different cultures that are from the former Soviet Union, guys. But today we want to cover one of the best kept secrets and one of the best cuisines in the entire world that you might not know about, which is Georgian food. And you know we couldn't do this video without a real Brighton Beach local. We got Nina and Alex. Yeah, what's up? Hello, guys. Uh, hi, my name is Alex. I'm not local, but I love Georgian food. <laughs> my name is Nina Kelby, and we are the most famous Georgian restaurant called Guest House. This is mostly Georgian, Russian, Uzbekistan. Everyone, like ex-Soviet Union countries, live there. So please come and join me. Let's try this. We're out here. We're on Brighton Beach. We're going to hit, like, multiple spots. Let's do it. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a different country right now. I'm pretty excited because I know Georgian food is very, very delicious, but I'm down to hear and learn more. So let's start off at Guest House. That means cheers in the Georgian language, guys. It is a very unique language only spoken by 3.7 million people, Ooh. but very unique. We are starting off round one of our feast here at Guest House in Brighton Beach. Uh, quickly, you told me that this is like one of the most famous restaurants in Brighton Beach. Oh yes. Like, and, and, and also it's called Guest House because Georgians, they love guests. They're, oh, they're very hospitable love guests. people. Uh, the guest for us is uh, from the gods. So whenever we introduce to any other cultures, we wanna just really represent our culture at the best. All right, starting off with round one, while we wait for the uh, Kachipuri big cheese boats to bake, we gotta start off here because we have the famous kinkali, which is like your guys' dumpling. Can you explain a little bit of the background? The dumplings background is uh, Mongolian, and usually um, you can find the variation of dumpling in every culture, but in Georgian we make giant, as you can see. Oh! And we have like soup, pick it up by the handle, like this. Okay. And... And we eat it with our hands? Guy. Yes, definitely. Okay. You don't need... Oh my gosh. And you just take a little. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's super hot. Yo, this is the biggest, so, this is one of the biggest dumplings. Uh, no, I've had know. a kinkali before, but it's not this <laughs> size of the fast casual. The kinkalis I've seen aren't this big, all right? And take just a small bite. Small. Yeah. Right. Well, it's kind of like it's eating a shalom bao. And drink up the juice. Oh my god, this is how hot. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah, it is see, it is like the Chinese it. soup dumpling, the shalom bao, a little bit where you I'm bite the top, to, you're gonna I'm drink the juice. juice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I repeatedly burned my fingers already like three times. So I'm like, look, <laughs> <laughs> you're invited to Georgia. Look at this. <laughs> it's like one of those airbags. Where you're like, yeah, yeah. My hair is burned. <laughs> It's so good though. Drink Honestly, if you guys have not got the chance yet, um, this is one of the best uh, dumplings I've ever had too. I love wow. the pink That's great. Thank you for that. Guys, I think that I think you gotta expand what you know as a dumpling listen. There's there's the Asian you have Nepalese momos and then you have kinkalis. It's like it's crazy. You guys like this. We don't have to eat this, right? But I heard yeah. the true yeah, Georgians do, right? Um like, no, we usually don't. Oh you don't. Know, but some so, people like it. It's, it it's depends on. I'm doing it. Can, I'm eating them. Oh, I'm eating a lot of carbs, bro. Whoa. <laughs> well, let's take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> Man, I, honestly, I know we got a lot more to eat, but hold on. Okay, so do do we eat the kinkali with this too? Uh, you can okay. dip it in, like, or you can just try. All right, I'm gonna just put it on right here. Oh, that would be really oh, good. Oh yeah. That would be really good. Boom. Mm. Kinkali with the with the garlic sauce. Mm. 
That is so good. Yo, know, I'm not gonna lie, if that's all I could eat today, I would be totally fine. We do have a cauliflower. This is beetroot with mm -hmm. walnuts. Okay. Spinach with walnuts. We do have a green beans with walnuts. Mm -hmm. And also this rolled eggplant with uh, walnut sauces. And also imeruli khajipuri, it's a uh, round flat bread stuffed with cheese. Mm. Right, because not all khajipuri and is the shape like the bowl, right? Yes, this is imeruli khajipuri is also very well known in Georgia. Do you think at all that maybe historically this is somehow linked to pizza? Because it looks so much alike? Uh, yes, definitely. They, yeah. I don't we'll know. I, I'm, I'm we'll not saying which one came first. We're gonna we do some know. googling and we're gonna pop up Guys. the fact. Oh, yeah. Georgia yeah. is a very yeah. old and traditional culture. Like, there's a lot of their the wine has been been made in Georgia for like eight thousand years. Eight thousand years. It's crazy. Yeah. Imoruli kachipori. Yeah. You guys, there's different types of kachipori. This was the imoruli kind, okay? Not yes. the ajuli. The imoruli. Yes. Cheese That's right. brushed with butter on top. Butter and sliced up. Wow. It's stuffed with cheese. Amazing. Look at you. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I enjoy it on the Yo, this is good. This, this is reminds good. me of um mm. almost like a cheese breadstick that you would get, you know what I mean? But way better. Oh, that's perfect. But you know Mixologist it. is know doing it, it right. <laughs> mm. oh, man. So original. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's really Yo, something you have to try. Alright, you guys, we are looking at the a uh, Julie. Kajipuri. Ajuruli. Ajuruli. And this is more the one that everybody kind of knows of. This and is and the you said there's a, a history behind why it looks like a boat? Because uh, usually in ancient time, uh, west side of the Georgia, well-known sailors, they were just leave the house and they were on the ocean like seven, eight months. So this type of shape was created by their wives. So that's how they greet their husbands when they come home. Oh. And like, oh, honey, this is what I made for you. So this is really unique, and this is really uh, you cannot see that in other cultures. So how do you eat this traditionally? So there, I just see there's butter, there's the egg yolk, of course. Egg yolk is perfectly flavored with um, the cheese. So basically, we're gonna take a fork and mix it up like this. Everything, the butter, and cheese. Oh, this is really good. Is this the national dish of Georgia? This is national dish of Georgia, yes. Ah. yes. So we're gonna rip off the crust <laughs> okay. from the bread. And we just kind of dip inside. Ooh. I already ate my bite. <laughs> oh, yeah. I already ate my bite. I already ate my first, bite. It was good though. The first cachapori of the day. Mmm. Mmm, this is so good. Ate Andrew, that's interesting over here. Is there a... Oh, cornbread. Yeah, that's a Georgian corn cornbread. Uh, we usually eat with cheese. We love a lot of cheese and uh, all Should this. we dip it inside of it? You can do that too, yeah. Oh, you could dip you this can... in You can dip this in the... At, at this point, point Nina, well, can we just dip yeah. anything inside of this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> can we dip a king kali? Oh, no, 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 not king kali. Wait, wait, wait. I think, for me, the thing that has stood out to me in this mm -hmm. first round here at Guest House is that everything was good. I think a lot of times when you go to a, um, a lot of restaurants, they have some good things, some middle things, some bad things, but everything here was really strong, like top to bottom. Mm -hmm. And I love this uh, veggie plate actually, because this is almost like, to me, I'm almost using it as like a paste and flavoring when I want to put it on yeah. the the kachipori or anything else. And it's, it's just like- It the flavor. Yes, it just gives you that burst of like fragrant kind of vegetableness and I don't know, it feels a little healthier too. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're wrapping up round one here at Guest House, which was so dope. I'm actually gonna go ahead and have another Kinkali. I don't oh, know, maybe that. maybe it's because I'm Asian, but uh, <laughs> it's possible, right? But uh, you know, these are really, really good. I love this, the Kajipori, but honestly, the, I think the biggest sleeper to me was even the, um, the Amelda Kajipori. You know, did you say that this is uncommon to put the Kajipori cheese on the Kinkali? It's very uncommon. Yes, but you can try it. I'm gonna just try it real quick. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And, and, and the mixologist, so. <laughs> mm. oh, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Two good things going together can't be bad. What would you personally say is your favorite out of the things that we had? Of course, the boat, the best oh, one. I love it so much. Mm. I love Kintali. All right, so Nina, before we move on to yeah. our next like dessert or bakery. Uh, could you quickly teach us a little bit of the Georgian language? You know, just like the basics of hello, good eats, that kind of stuff, because I know the language is really unique. Usually, like, we have um, hello as gamarjoba. 
Kamrojoba. Which means victory. How are you means Rogorhan. 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 I can't roll my tongue that well. Okay, what about you? Um, so how, how do what we just say how do we just say the food is good? Um uh, like right? Sechmeli. Sechmeli. Sechmeli is Gambria. No, wait. Sechmeli Gambria. Oh, Sechmeli Gambria. Um, yo, this was so dope to be in Brighton Beach. Uh, we still got some more spots to hit up. This was a little bit more elevated, right? Like for yes. celebrations. Like um, we could have got like a way cheaper version of this, right? Or like a way like quicker version. Mm, quicker version, but uh, the quality is best in guest house. The quality is the best here at guest house. They know how to treat the guests. Let's move on to our next spot. All right, everybody, we just finished an amazing meal over at Guest House. Uh, if you've never had Georgian food, you've got to check it out for sure. But uh, Nina, we're going to keep it moving. Where are we going next? Now we're just going to cross the street. It's a lot of Georgian stores there, and we have a nice bakery over there. So let's go. All right. So, we are, so we're just picking it up along the way, guys. You know, we're in Brighton Beach right now. It's kind of got very, like, Pan USSR vibes. So we, we're gonna go check it out. The, the USSR. Alive in Brighton Beach. One love, USSR. <laughs> this is, let's follow. <laughs> so the lady at the cash, the cashier that was checking us out, we found out she was from Kyrgyzstan. And that's yes. that's actually why she kind of looks a little Asian, right? Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, like this. Right. Oh! Ariashke! A Russian walnut cookie. Mm. Wow. wow. It's like a caramel inside wow. of a madeleine. But it's not caramel, it's condensed milk. Oh, okay. Whoa. It's cooked cond condensed milk. All right, you guys, we're in Brighton Beach. We've arrived at our second Georgian spot. We had to make a pit stop at the Russian chocolate spot. Uh, where, did, where are we at? This is a perfect spot to buy some nice things okay. for the everyday time. No, and and time. they have a variety of food. Maybe we're gonna try like some of the grilled meats. Yes, we might still you. try their kinkalis because <laughs> I gotta try kinkalis everywhere. <laughs> hey, if they got dumplings, I'm eating them. Let's go. Okay, can you tell us the Georgian tongue twister? I gotta hear it. Um, could you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Choked up. <laughs> I'm, yo, so basically, you guys, that segment was just to show you guys how unique the Georgian language is. It's obviously developed um, in amidst like a ton of other influences and it's uniquely Georgian though. And I think that that's what's cool and that's what people love about such a small country, right? So we got some traditional Georgian bread right here. Oh yeah, this is like wow. a unique shape as well. I'm gonna just... Whoa! <laughs> Why is it like that? <laughs> Yo, he's it's about to hit. Oh! Yeah, I'll take this. Traditional Georgian bread. Yeah. What's this called? Um, shati. Shati. Yes. Yeah, it's good. Pretty good. Really crispy. Like, um, way softer on the inside and way crispier on the outside than I would have predicted. You might look at it and think it was gonna be super hard or something. And then we hear, I just, I just wanted to get this uh, kebab. So this a kinkali would make like a very tasty like lunch meal. This is almost wow. like a burrito. Wow, very thin like tortilla like bread. It's good. Onions and meat, it's perfect flavor. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was delicious. Than burrito, right? So we dip all these like mm, nice shaped walnuts into grape juice, and we hang on the wall and let it let it dry in there. Tammy just got back from Georgia four days ago. She brought us this. This is amazing. What Yo, is what? <laughs> let's go for let's it. Let's go. Let's do it. Chuchella. <laughs> this is straight from Georgia, not made in America. Wow. I had ones made in America, but then this one, this mm. one's better. Obviously. Wow. This is straight from Georgia. Guys, I know that it it might look kind of funny but it's kind of like this really firm, sweet, kind of gummy feeling. It's like a it's like a firm grape gummy wrapping around walnut. It's really good. All right, 
right, so our final spot on this Brighton Beach crawl, you know, we went off of Brighton Avenue a little bit. Now we're on Neptune and we're here at Tone Cafe. Now, what is Tone Cafe? Tone Cafe is very traditional Georgian food. And also we have a famous Georgian singer, Lasha Glonti, performing here. So it's like a mixture of nice food, also nice Georgian music and everything is like mixture together. All right, I'm looking forward to having some dishes that we did not have at Guest House, you know, which we did have the traditional, well-known Georgian dishes, which were amazing. But here we're gonna get some stews, maybe some steak, you know, some more deep cut dishes. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hey, I ordered the Kinkali and he looked at me and said, that's the one, bro. <laughs> Also, I'm Chinese, so I like the dumpling. I like the dumpling. Yeah. I gotta get one of these Georgian village compote. Oh yes, Georgian village. Yeah, which which one is the best? Because we have white cherry, we have peach, which you have real fruit in it, and then you have cherry. Which one should I get? Oh, for me, my favorite. It's a cherry or no? Cherry. It's oh not a cherry. Cherry, cherry. I'm going with the cherry one. It's not a real fruits, as you can see. It's not sweetening. It's so natural taste. All right, you guys, the food has started to arrive here at Tone Cafe. This is the Chakapuli, and um, this looks really interesting. This is almost like, I would imagine almost like a lot of cultures mm. in the world have a stew that looks like this. Chakapuli. For the soul. This is veal with tarragon, guys. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Yo, oh, that tarragon is, so is strong. Mm. Such a strong, rich flavor. So it mm. feels like it's curing anything I have. Like any sort of pain, I feel like it's going away right now. But the veal is delicious, actually. That's. Oh, you got. Oh, and there's a little bit of wine in it as I well. Like, First, I was like, whoa, what is this flavor? Because I never had tarragon soup. And then I was like, going back for more. I'm, I'm, I'm drunk right now. Yeah, I'm, that's the soup. It warmed me up and then it made me drunk. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. All right, you guys, most of the food has arrived here at Tone yes. Cafe. Um, guys, this is a garlic chicken milk dish, right? So this is really unique. I haven't really seen this from other cultures. You know, I may be mistaken. Over here, what is this? We got your it's meat and potatoes. Ojahuri. 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 Yes. Yeah, this is like um, called chunjoli. I'm going in on the chicken right here. I'm just going to put it right there. Mmm. Wow, the garlic chicken mm. is really good. How is it? Milk, garlic chicken. Mm. Delicious. We have our cherry compote here. Oh yeah, that's so With natural. the real cherries mm -hmm. inside. It's not even sweetened, it's uh, original natural taste. Cheers. <sighs> wow. Oh, this tastes so good. Mm. Let's try this one. Mm, that's traditionally made. Okay, Jody. It's called ojahuri potatoes. Ojahuri. It's really good. Traditionally made with this. It's really hot. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Yo, oh. the, the greens it almost has like a like a kimchi, mm -hmm. almost like a little pickled flavor. You actually just got back from a trip to Georgia. I guess what did you see over there? Like, what is the society like? Is the cities trying to be just like like America, or or like how is it progressing? Yeah. Uh, when I was traveling, even like the capital of Georgia, it's like very modern, and you you think like you are one of the European countries, so which is like uh, like a Western yes, European yes, country, yes, right? Yeah. Yes, and uh, it's very safe, and uh, you are like um, uh, it's uh, it's better than like before, like before 15 years, of course, and 20 years before. If you could tell the world about like. Georgia, like as the country, obviously, you know, some people still think we're talking about the American state, Georgia, which actually really doesn't have a lot of relation. I really looked into the etymology of the two names. Um, but I guess like, what do you want to tell people about Georgia? Like if you're speaking to the audience here? I would love to say that it's up like mountain areas. Everything is natural, food is amazing, really like rich taste, mm -hmm. all the herbs, all the vitamins you could ever want. <laughs> all the vitamins. <laughs> all the vitamins. That's important, that's <laughs> yeah, really that's funny. Very important. Yeah, that's And also second biggest thing is uh, people's hospitality. Mm -hmm. We love, for us, guest is like from the gods. So when we greet the guest, it's like we love with our heart mm -hmm. and we cook with all our heart. We are pretty much very giving personality. And this is, um, I want to share, because when you go to a foreigner country, you need two things. 
great nature and good people. So mm. We do have those. <laughs> great nature and good people. George has got it. I'm going in. And you got, got it really well. Don't spill the juice. This is the number one. <laughs> <laughs> You're really good. <laughs> You can see inside, you see all the herbs, you see the meat. Oh, I'm, I'm spilling. Hey, you guys, you know what? It's so, you know what makes so much sense is that we opened up the Brighton Beach crawl with the Kinkali, and now we're closing with the Kinkali. <laughs> it makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite thing we had today? Chaka. Kapuli and of course Kinkali. Creamy chicken was definitely my top two, wow. or top three. It was like, it was right there. This is super good because it's super unexpected. I would say overall, still maybe my favorite was the first King Kali we had oh. at uh, Guest House. Yeah. What I really liked was actually that vegetable plate. Poly platter with all the vegetable balls, whether it was spinach, beet, and um, parsley, I think. And being able to scoop that and eat it with other things and using that as a like a veggie topping, I thought was incredible because I never thought of like a vegetable paste that I wanted to put on other things. So when I put it on my kachapuri, the cheese boat, it was delicious. And I think that was something that I discovered today that is so new to me. What, what was your favorite thing that we had today, if you had to say? Oh, chmeruli, 100%. Like, there are no BS items, guys. I got to say, top to bottom, Georgian food has been one of the best cuisines I've had in the sense that there's no bad dishes at all. To me, you know, I, I judge things by how good they are, but you gotta judge things by how many bad dishes they got, and you guys don't have any. If you have not tried Georgian food yet, you have to check it out. There are spots in Manhattan, and which are gonna be a little bit pricier, and maybe not have the soul that Brighton Beach is gonna have, but if you come to Brighton Beach, you will not regret it. Now, it was so fun to be with our Georgian friends in a Georgian USSR neighborhood like Brighton Beach. However, I think we have to acknowledge that Georgian food is absolutely blowing up in Manhattan, which is more of the commercial mainstream area. All right, so right now we're outside of Cha Cha Mama here on 14th Ave in Manhattan. And they have a couple locations around the city, but this is one of them. And this is a nice, fast, casual Georgian restaurant, and it's not the only chain either. And I think it goes to show you that despite Georgia being an incredibly small country population-wise, the food is good. And I think Georgians are cooking it, but I also think that non-Georgians are cooking it. Hey guys, I think a lot of people are getting on this Georgian food wave. I'm just saying. I think they're finding out the food is pretty good. And not only that, they have some dishes that we haven't had yet. So let's check it out. This is Georgian pear lemonade. Is it from Georgia? It's from Georgia. It's from the Mishketa region. All right, we're here at Chama Mama. Chama actually means eat in Georgian. And then Mama is what I'm told. It actually means dad instead of mama, which is probably what you would usually think. You know what I think is really interesting about this spot? Because they're trying to present Georgian food primarily to a non-Georgian audience or a non, you know, Eastern European audience, Andrew, they're pulling from all the different provinces of Georgia. Uh, when we were in Brighton Beach, spots tended to be so authentic, they were more pulling from like one specific or two specific regions. They're pulling from like all 10 regions of Georgia. Right, that means they have different kachapuris here, aka the bread dishes. So, man, let's go look at some of them. That's a, it's a pavmoni kachapuri, and this is from the southern part of Georgia called Svet. I'm sorry, I'm probably mispronouncing it for sure. Um, yeah, let's bust it open, man. My oh, goodness. shoot! Bro! It's pavloni kachapuri. Mm. Wow. That is super light and flaky. It's like a puff pastry. Would you say? Mm. That was like the best cheese Uncrustable you ever had in your life. I'm sorry, not Uncrustable. What am I thinking about? Toaster strudel. Oh, man. Yo, that puff pastry and cheese, that was super good. And the greens really balance it out. I love how the salad on top is really cutting through the fat. We are looking at a Lobiani, and this is a Kudbari. Mmm. You think it would taste like some refried beans, like a Mexican dish? No, the spices are completely different. If you're a vegetarian, you gotta try it. But of course, I'm a meat eater, so I gotta try the meat. Mmm. See all those spices, that thin meat, all the juiciness, all the fat? It's rolling out there, guys. That's why they say Georgia is probably the most Eastern influenced part of Western Europe or like Europe. It's basically the most Eastern part of Europe to the point where they're getting influence from the Middle East and even a little bit from Asia. Mushroom, Mushroom Kinkali. 
everywhere we go, we gotta try Ken Kali's is the mushroom one. All right, am I gonna eat this traditionally, David? You gonna bite the top? Ooh, Wait. Looks like Chinese filling. It tastes much more Western though. Mm. Last but not least, here at Chama Mama, we are finishing off with the Pelmushi. Andrew, this is a uh, grape juice from vintage grapes, Pelmushi. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. All right, as far as my favorite things go here at our elevated Manhattan spot, I'm gonna go with the mushroom kinkali. I just can't stop eating kinkalis. I don't know if it is an innate cultural thing, but they're just good. Uh, my favorite thing is definitely this kudbari with meat inside. It's spicy, it's meaty, it's juicy, it's crispy, it's light, it's flaky. Would I don't you, know what else would you, you take need. Jing Dong Robing or Guo or this? They, 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 we, don't, we don't have to play this game. King Kali's are not better than dumplings. I mean, they're, they're both great in their own right. All right, you guys, we're probably at the most fusion Georgian restaurant in New York City right now. It's called Cheese Boat. Obviously, that is essentially what a kajipori is, or at least the Adruli kajipori. And you got a mushroom King Kali's. You got a Georgian salad, but let's not... David, let's can, address the gorilla in the room. We have to talk about what we're looking at right here. This is a shrimp kajipori, AKA there are grilled shrimp in season and it's on top of a cheese boat. Here we have the steak kajipori. These are chopped steak. You have your green sauce here, maybe perhaps kind of like a Argentinian style steak and it's on top of the cheese boat. Right, right. Is this, this may be some taste it. chimichurri, uh -huh. chimichurri-esque sauce. And then David here, we have the honey walnut one. This is gonna be sweet and savory because this is honey, crushed walnuts, uh, powdered sugar on a cheese boat, on top of a wood log. David, this Georgian food is out of this world. So Andrew, Makes this was up. actually uh, started by two um, Georgian Americans or like, you know, younger people from that region that obviously, you know, they wanna switch it up, make it cooler to their, you know, Williamsburg friends. You know, I think it's it's great to be traditional, but, but let's be honest, I think the young people, they have a lot of different types of friends. They want something that's more accessible and fun and cool. And David, here we have a classic Georgian wine. This is actually a white wine, but it's colored because it was made in a clay pot. And that is the traditional Georgian style of making wine. Dip it in. Oh my goodness. Andrew, you know how like the old school crowd, they tend to more prefer it the old ways. Oh I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, just if you talk to young people, they're way more into chocolate shaolin bows than, you know, just traditional pork. They want all the type of egg salted egg yolk flavors. Shrimp, Shrimp kajapori. Oh my gosh. Wow. Guys. That is cheesy. I don't want to spoil it for you. They're good. They're good. They, they add a lot of value. I mean. If you look at them, you kind of have an idea of how they taste, and it look good, it tastes good. Wow. Next up, we've got the mushroom and steak, and we're gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna pour it, a little of the chimichurri on top. It's gonna get messy, guys. Guys, these are kachipuris on the next level. All right. Jeez. Steak and mushroom. Mmm. Andrew, last but not least, we got the honey walnut. Just gonna rip it right Just here. Just rip it in half. Ooh, you crazy. I, I essentially created a drumstick. You taking that whole bite? Yeah. Wow. Andrew, since I had a ton of kajikori this week already, I think for me, this is a really welcome change. And my favorite one actually was the shrimp one. Man, I'll tell you this. I love the kajipori at Guest House, and I also love how this has essentially toppings on top of it, and I think that you gotta try both. And But man, I'll tell you this, I still, that one at Guest House still might reign supreme as the best one I've had in this entire video, but I think these might come in second. Mushroom kinkali with cracked pepper on top, scallions, and a little bit of sauce. Mmm. Good. Oh, hold on. David, you gotta try this. Mm. I think it's incredible that the second generation Georgians are still uh, trying to represent their cuisine as 
authentic as possible. And I think this is authentic to them, man. Who knows, growing up, maybe they were already fusing other types of dishes on top of the kaji pori, and that makes complete sense. And I just think like, to see the second generation come here and still present something that I think the older generation can appreciate, is amazing. And our last and final spot that we had to showcase for this Georgian food episode is Cafe Delia. And this is the most affordable, cheapest, and best bang for your buck Georgian food spot in the city. Hey, and just like Chama Mama, they are doing their part in trying to educate people about Georgian food. We're over here right next to the NYU campus. Obviously a lot of students eat here, but man, I'm always excited to eat here, always. Cafe Delia, let's go. You guys, Cafedelia has arrived. Um, I think the first thing that I'm looking at is the beef stew. Yeah, I mean, that has mashed potatoes in it, beef stew. This one is looking like a pizza. This is the meat pie, the kudari that we just had at Cha Cha Mama. But guys, and this, the owner here, what he's really trying to do is always make Georgian to-go concepts, you know? Because Georgian food, it is palatable to a lot of people. It's not offensive. I think a lot of people can relate to the food. So it's just a matter of getting it out there. And we just had a kubdari, but this Yo, is another kubdari. Um, this one's different, juicy. Different regions cook them differently, different restaurants. They have their own versions of it. This smells really good. Wow. Wow. Let's go in. Mmm. I think that this is the best one that I wow. had today. This is the best wow. one that I had today. This is juicy. Andrew, this is the kupati. This is the Georgian sausage. Mm -hmm. And I remember, I've had this before, Andrew. I really like it here. I really like the food here at Cafe Delia. All right, you guys, real quick between rounds, I have the border Jomi mineral water from Georgia. Let me tell you this. That's the most mineral, mineral water I ever tasted in my life. If you like to taste the minerals, get you some Borjomi. All right, ending it here at Cafe Delia, we have the vegetable stew, AKA the Japsandali, and then we have this honey cake, and then... That's like almond or walnut cake. All right, Andrew, we are trying the vegetable stew. You can eat it hot, you can eat it cold. Right now, New York's getting, you know, Entering winter, so we're gonna go with the hot version. I mean, look how many vegetables they have in it. Eggplant, squash, uh, tomatoes, onions, everything you could possibly want. Mmm. Oh, that's good for the soul, man. Dude, like I said, man, it reminds me of minestrone or something that Campbell's does make, but with a twist and better. Familiar, but different. Bro, this is a dish that you would get at a sit down Italian restaurant, maybe. I'm gonna put it on my cacciapori. Yeah. Wow. It's like uh, putting minestrone on a bridge. Hey, okay. It's still vegetarian. Like we said, the Borjomi sparkling mineral water, the most mineral of mineral. Right. Yum, 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 yum. Honey cake, honey cake, honey cake. You love the honey cake. Wow. This is underrated. No. This honey cake, five out of five. We went on a crazy Georgian food journey uh, from Brighton Beach to Manhattan. We went to authentic spots, fusion spots, fast casual spots. There's still a lot more that we need to try out in other videos, but what was your major takeaway from what we did? I think that one Georgian food actually has a lot of familiar taste to a lot of people. And I don't think it's weird, it's nothing funky, but it is delicious and it is a little bit different so that it's different enough where you wanna try it and you're like, you wanna tell your friends about it, but it's not so different that it's intimidating. The Georgian food is the most Eastern tasting of the truly Western foods. Mm. So to me, Georgian food is for firmly in the Western canon, but it might be the most like Eastern, whether that's Middle Eastern, Indian, uh, Persian or even East Asian Mongolian tasting of the Western foods. And I think that that's why, to be honest, Andrew, there are so many Asians that eat Georgian food. And I think it's really cool, for example, one dish that always looks like pizza, but it might have been around as long, if not longer than pizza. It's just that pizza came to the States first so that the Kachipuri has to kind of reintroduce itself and say, hey guys, like uh, we're kind of like pizza, but we're not really, but hey, we've been around for a while too. So, hey, pizza didn't necessarily come before this. It's just that they're similar. 
Huge shout out to Nina and the other Georgian friends that we made in Brighton Beach. Um, you guys, please let us know in the comment section below what you know about Georgia food. If there are any other small countries with amazingly underrated food that's gonna be blowing up soon, make sure you let us know in the comment section. Like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Until next time, guys, that was this episode of Fun Bros Food. We out. Peace. David, are you trying to say that I get my grape juice out in Georgia? Yeah, that's country.